about Forest Ivory. Four to one though, El Freddy, the nine to two's disappeared. Five to one, fine, sir. Dark Phoenix, a solid fourth best at seven to one. It's then 33 to one, bar the front four. Takes in Camino, Lothian Commander and Burnwood Melody. It's 50 to one, bar those. We're two miles and five furlongs ahead of them. And the first one to go on is El Freddy. El Freddy is making the running, but setting a fairly sedate pace to the others with fine, sir, very prominent, so to Polar Pony who now moves up to show in second spot, in fact, to go on. So it's Polar Pony now just taking it up as they come to jump the first flight of hurdles. And they're all safely over that one with towards the rear of the field, hit the bid, Camino, and last of all, in the early stages, Dark Phoenix. But it's Polar Pony who is setting the gallop, followed by El Freddy and Fine Sir, and then Gemma's Wager, and behind these as they take the second flight comes High Mood, who is being followed by Burntwood Melody, and then the favorite Forest Ivory, with just in after Forest Ivory, Honeybed Wood. So they make the first turn, which will take them uphill towards the next flight, the third, which will be the third from home when they get to it next time. So on then to number three, with Polo Pony in the lead still, followed by El Freddy and Fine Sir, and then Gemma's Wager with High Mood showing in four, five on the inside, making a little ground weather-wise. Weather-wise is followed by Burntwood Melody, and then after them come Forest Ivory. So they're climbing towards the home turn on this, the first circuit, with Polo Pony rejoined by El Freddy, who has the advantage of the inside position. They're about to make this turn, which will take them on towards the two in the home straight, numbers four and five. Polar Pony up on the outside, just showing the way to El Freddy, but very little between the two. Gemma's Wager is very close up after them as they come into this fourth flight, and over it now with the leaders still Polar Pony and uh, El Freddy, but now Gemma's Wager goes up between the two to be much, much closer. Fine Sir over towards the inside, and they're now coming to flight number five. Rising at this one, and it was Gemma's wager in the air first, followed by Fine Sir and then El Freddy. After them, Polo Pony, Forest Ivory making good ground. High Mood is right there with the leaders, and they're being followed by Weatherwise. They pass the post with a complete circuit to go. Up on the outside of Weatherwise is Honeybed Wood, and the back markers are Burnt Melody, Nero's Gem, with after them Dark Phoenix over on the, in, on the inside, hit the bid, and last of all in 14th place is Camino. So at the next turn, which will take them downhill towards the far side, and it's Gemma's wager out in front by just over a length from El Freddy. After those two, still very much on the premises, is Fine Sun, and tracking that leading group still are on the outside. High Mood uh, on the inner comes Forest Ivory, and then Honeybed Wood with Polar Pony just losing his place somewhat. Weather Wise follows next, and after Weather Wise, here comes Burntwood Melody and then Dark Phoenix, the last two hit the bid, and Camino jumping the next flight. And it was Gemma's Wager who landed ahead again. Gemma's Wager leading here, but only narrowly from El Freddy, who's being ridden up sides to, uh, in fact, just about go on again. So it's El Freddy becoming the leader in the race for the second time. It's very close between the two, El Freddy and Gemma's Wager. Gemma's Wager, in fact, has regained the lead here. Gemma's Wager from El Freddy, then Honey Bet Wood with Fine Sir next, Forest Ivory traveling quite well on the inside and followed by High Mood. And then comes Weather Wise with Polar Pony, Dark Phoenix making little ground as also after these is High Mood again. They're being followed by Camino who's moved up two or three places. So they're midway down the far stretch and they're just about out halfway in this Thomas Cook maiden hurdle. Nearing the next flight of hurdles, jumping it now, El Freddy has now been joined by Honeybed wood, honey wood, and these two now have gone on from Gemma's Wager. And joining them is Fine Sir. They're being tracked still by Forest Ivory, and Dark Phoenix is closing all the time. And then comes Weather Wise. So they near the next turn, and as they begin to make it now, it's Fine Sir who's moved up on the outside of El Freddy. Fine Sir and El Freddy, Dark Phoenix is very prominent now in three, and then Forest Ivory beginning to make his bid. He's closed right up and is on the heels of those three leaders. And they're being pursued by High Mood and then Gemma's Wager, followed then by Lothian Commander over the third from home. And the field beginning to get sorted out now. And it's Fine Sir who's gone on. Fine Sir from uh, in second on the inside and moving really well now, the favorite Forest Ivory after these two El Freddy. And then comes Dark Phoenix. They're coming to the last turn. 
And Fine Sir is the first in line for home, Fine Sir. Followed, though, very closely indeed now by Forest Ivory. Just two to take in this novice hurdle with Fine Sir in front as they come to the second last. Fine Sir from Forest Ivory within half a length. Now El Freddy right there in third. After them, Weatherwise and Dark Phoenix pulled up at the back of the field as Camino also pulled up Nero's Gem and uh, Honeybed Wood. Coming then to the final flight of hurdles into the last now and it's here that forest ivory has gone on forest ivory has gone into the lead very smoothly indeed and racing up towards the final hundred yards it's going to be a win here for the favorite forest ivory it is forest ivory who notches his first ever win with richard johnson followed by fine sir in third el freddy staying on into fourth place is weather wise Satisfactory introduction over hurdles then for Forest Ivory, beating Fine Sir into second place, and Alfredi was third past the post. Forest Ivory runs in the colours of the old Foresters' partnership, and won quite well for David Nicholson, partnered by Richard Johnson, who's having a terrific season so far. Fine Sir ran a place, but to fully beaten, coming down towards the final flight, and Alfredi never able to get on terms with the first two in the closing stages. All 14 of them ran. Appeared the winner 8 to 11 favourite. Fine Sir returned 11 to 2, and Alfredi 3 to 1 was.